So John Morant's an NBA player known for his incredible dunks, shifty dribble moves, and absolutely green jump shots. For his build right here, we're gonna go first name Ja, second name Morant, position point guard, handiness right, jersey number, nah, 2K is weird for giving me that jersey number. For John Morant's body, we're going 6'2", 2'10", 6'10", and then for the body shape, we're going to find to make him nice and jacked. Also, I know he's actually six foot three, but like we're just making him six foot two because the build's better if he's six foot two. Now, before I show you guys how to upgrade this build, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel as well. Just like the video, like liking the video is 100% free. It literally costs you guys nothing. It takes half a second, like please. Anywho, on to the actually important stuff. First, for the driving dunk, we're gonna max this thing out at a 93. Then for the driving lay, we're going with an 84. For the close shot, we're going with an 84 as well. And then for the post control, go with a 59. With 25 finishing badges and a 93 driving dunk, you do not want to be sitting in the paint because I will come over there, do a 360 windmill, and then dunk it on you. Not you specifically, but like whoever I'm playing against. Now for the shooting, first things first, 86 three-point rating, gotta make sure we're greening, as well as an 80 mid-range to give us 23 total shooting badges. It's very, very solid. You know, John Moran can definitely shoot that three-point ball. So for that reason, we gotta make sure we upgrade our three-pointer. Onto the play I'm making, first things first, for the ball he only rating we're gonna put this up to a 90 then for the speed of the ball putting this up to a 79 and for the pass act we're also putting this up to a 79 definitely gonna want to make sure you have at least a little bit of pass accuracy so that way you can get them good passing styles also 90 ball handling rating you really don't need anything higher than that like all the 92 ball handling rating dribble moves are just kind of garbage while speed of the ball is kind of relevant does give you a few more badges make sure you have at least a 75 though that's extremely important now for the perimeter defense make sure you have this at an 85 it will give you bronze clamps as well go up to an 86 for the steel go up to a 60 for the interior defense put the block up to a 53 defensive rebound 75 offensive rebound go up to a 59 you guys see in total that will give you 25 defensive slash rebounding badges which is definitely very very good as well your defense is very very well rounded you have good perimeter good steel decent block and as well pretty good rebounding and since i do play a lot of 1v1 court and a lot of 2v2 having a little defensive rebound is pretty important now right here you guys can pretty much see the badge spread 25 23 23 25 and you might be saying that's not 100 badges but actually it is if you guys didn't know when you make your player and you become a starter which is like after like seven games this year you get literally just plus four more badges what i would pretty much recommend doing is throw two of the plus four onto shooting and throw two of the plus two onto playmaking which will give you 25, 25, 25, and a 25. And if I don't suck at math, that does equal 100, which is quite nice. Now onto the physicals. First things first, for the acceleration, we're gonna put this up to an 87. For the speed rating, we're putting this up to a 75. Then for the vert, we're putting this up to an 82, and then we're going with an 88 stamp. What speed pretty much does is anytime you're moving without the ball for a long distance, so pretty much only in full court setting, you will be faster or slower depending on what your speed rating is. And since John Morant happens to be a point guard, speed Speed really will not affect your gameplay that much. Like whenever I make a point guard build, speed is literally the last thing I upgrade with these. And then 35 strength. I know people thought strength was going to be very, very important this year. But honestly, just so far, it really hasn't mattered all that much. Just like previous years, at least for point guards. Okay, for the takeovers, these are not super, super important, if I'm being honest. For the first take, I would recommend going with finishing moves if you want to be like Ja Rule Moran. And every secondary takeover, I'd recommend going with limitless range. This is just an extremely fun takeover. I like being able to shoot from half court with John Moran and then turn around the next possession and just dunk it on your head. Honestly, when you get double takeover, it's just really hard to get stopped. And here's the moment of truth. Will we get John Moran as a shades of? And yes, we do. Oh my goodness, it's insane. Doesn't really matter that much. It's not going to affect your build whatsoever, but it is kind of cool. And you guys see, I built a three level shock creator. All right, let me show you guys what badges I'd recommend running. Now, before I do get into things, if you guys didn't know, I'm trying to send 50,000 meals to people in need during the month of December. There are four ways you guys can help, two of which are completely free. For every subscriber I gain in the month of December, I'll be donating 50 cents to this fundraiser. So just by subscribing, you're sending someone in need five meals. On my Patreon, which is in the link in the description, you're able to purchase personalized NBA 2K and social media tips, as well as other rewards, such as being in one of my videos. I'm kind of relying on you guys here to spread the word a little bit. It could be as simple as just liking this video to help the YouTube algorithm, or just sharing it with family and friends. 
Last way you can help is simply by donating either in the link in the description or through the YouTube fundraiser in the corner. Yeah, let's get right into the build. Okay, so starting things off, first category finishing, you guys see what I'm running with. Down here, tier three, these are three very, very important badges. Very, very good for guards. As well, make sure you do have Giant Slayer and Fearless Finisher. And then I guess Masher is just the other badge I threw on. Now for the shooting, you guys see we're getting these three very, very important tier three badges. You can go with Deadeye instead. Then Green Machine's also pretty important. I think Amped is pretty decent. I haven't actually used it that much this year. And then Comeback Kid is just our leftover bat. For plum making, you guys can pretty much see what I'm going with right here. These five badges down here are extremely important. And then Bronze Ankle Breaker did just have one extra badge. So that's where I put it. And then Defense, you guys can pretty much see what I'm going with right here. I was honestly pretty surprised that I didn't just end up throwing some badge on some useless thing. But I think I used all 25 badges pretty well. All right, let me show you guys how to make this build on current gen. So if you are stuck on the GOAT boat on the current generational side, we're talking PlayStation 4, Nintendo Switch. Wait, actually, what game is Nintendo Switch on? Basically, if you're stuck on the GOAT boat, then this is the build you're going to want to go with instead. All right, for the position, you're going to want to go with point guard. Then for the body settings, it's basically the exact same thing. I went with a little bit higher weight because we're on current gen, and that's what I decided to do. And then this is pretty much how you're going to want to upgrade the build right here. It's basically just the exact same thing as the previous build, but with just very minor tweaks. Unfortunately, you guys see you're not able to get 100 badges just like right here but i'm pretty sure there's like a glitch that gives you like plus eight badges or something on current gen i don't know i don't really play current gen that much then for the takeovers you guys see pretty much the same takeovers but a little bit different takeovers and we've built another three level shock creator with shades of john rand extremely cool to see and yeah that's gonna do it for the video now normally i would give you guys a little bit of gameplay with this build right here but yeah i'm kind of just too lazy to be honest if you guys want to see a different video where i use a very very similar point guard build but that's not exact exactly exactly like this build right here still gets 100 badges but it's just a little bit different with a few minor tweaks took that build to the 1v1 court dropped off a few sweats i recommend checking out the video in the card above or just on the end screen somewhere with that being said go follow me on instagram tiktok twitter whatever other social media platforms i'm on and with that being said i'm out Peace.